Hey guys, what's up? Ian here. And today, I am going to be reviewing Go Obsessed by Cannibal Corpse. This is the. Dang it. Ninth album, I think? I just had the number in my head, but I don't feel like counting it up by now. But yeah. It's basically their Thor with Pat O'Brien. Yeah, Thor with Pat O'Brien. And I've got to say, I wasn't from Blood Thor's. <coughs> it kind of went downhill with Cable Corpse. You got Blood Thor's, it was amazing. It was a great album, great production. And then you've got Gorses, that kind of goes downhill, you know. And the production was very. Week. Like, this is probably the worst production that this band has had. It sounds like a demo. It, it just kind of sucks overall. Yeah, this is production wise. Guitars. There was a lot of good guitars from here and there. Not. It wasn't. It wasn't like Bloodthirst or something, like Bush or Had Both or anything like that. It wasn't like that. There was some pretty good stuff. I did like the intro to Hash It to the Head. That's a pretty cool one. And I'm not a big fan of the intro to When Death in Place Life. I'm actually not. A, that was probably my least favorite song in the entire album. So yeah. Now, with the production, they got a guy by the new name of Neil. Can't remember his last name, but. He basically does two albums with this um, band, and I've just got to say that, yeah, he is probably the worst producer that this band's had. It did improve a little bit with the rest of Spawn, but we're not going to talk. We're not talking about the rest of Spawn here. We're talking about Go Obsessed. The album, you couldn't really hear the bass, even though I tried to. I just really couldn't, and that's kind of, in a way, with the production, production was pretty bad, and that's, that was actually kind of shocking for me, because this is a band that has, up until this point, has had very good production, even on Gallery of Suicide. It wasn't, it was probably Jim Morris. It, he didn't produce that album too great. I think he, Jim Morris has produced more albums better. But in all, going up to this point, they had good production. They had Scott Bones, who did the first five albums, which were amazing. They had Colin Richardson that did Bloodthirst, which is probably the greatest produced album of all time. And then they got Jim Morris that did Gallery of Suicide, which was pretty decent. It, it didn't. It wasn't terrible, it didn't sound like it was their first release or anything like that. And then you got Go Obsessed, which pretty much ruined the lead of production. It's kind of like production goes downhill and then it goes back up with Eric Rutan and stuff. But yeah, that's production. It wasn't good at all. The drums, pretty decent, nothing really too special about it. Paul, he's an amazing drummer as we all know. And then the lyrics and the vocals. This, besides the production, the vocals are probably my least favorite part about the album. It wasn't... With Bloodthirst, George Fisher definitely did 100%. With like Vial, he definitely did 100%. Even Gallery of Suicide, he went 100%. Not all the way, but he... He did. He did go pretty close. Go obsessed. It, it was he. It sounded like he went 50-50. He he didn't go all the way, which I really wished he did. His vocal tone, probably mostly because of the production, wasn't that great anyway. And I mean, the lyrics were okay. Most of the lyrics was was pretty decent. It's still. They're still never going to get to Chris Baum's lyrics or even Bloodthirst in that case. But 
it's just to me this album was like half and half 50 50. it had some good moments and it had some bad moments mostly the bad moments being the vocal t vocals and the production and the good moments being the guitars and the drums and the basses just I didn't hear any bass so I can't really say anything about the bass but I'm pretty sure the bass was pretty good I mean judging from the guitars the bass probably had to be pretty good because Alex Webster is the kind of bassist that goes with the guitars so yeah overall this was a pretty decent album nothing too big like Blood Thirst or anything not definitely definitely not their best album and it's definitely probably one of the weaker ones definitely is and in all I'm gonna have to give Go Obsessed by Cannibal Corpse a 7 nope not a 7 losing my track I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 